Welcome to How to Play with me, Peter. Today we are playing Thurn and Taxis. In Thurn and Taxis, you are a postmaster trying to improve your postal system across Germany by creating postal branches in different cities and improving your postal carriage to deliver post in a more efficient manner. You do this by developing routes in different cities across Germany based on the roads shown on the map, on the board. Your turn consists of a number of phases. The first thing you have to do is pick a city card from the six that are available. The second thing you have to do is play a city card from your hand into your current route. And I'll explain how that works in a minute. At the end of your turn, you can choose to close your postal route if you wish. And you can also take the help of one of the four postal officials, but you can only do that once a turn for any one of them. In this case, I'm going to pick up Mannheim as my first city, and that gets added to my hand. And whenever you have no city cards in your hand, you have to take the help of the postmaster, which allows you to pick up two city cards instead of one. City cards immediately get replaced, so you always have a choice of six. In this case, because I took Mannheim, I need to look at the cities that are connecting it and see if I can find a city in next to it. So in this case, I will take Stuttgart. I will start my route. Remember, you have to play a city card from your hand onto your route with Stuttgart because there are a number of different other cities I can add on either side of it. As you create a route, you cannot add cities to the middle. They have to be added to either end, and they have to make sense based on the roads on the board. You cannot double back through a city. It has to be a complete route from one city to another without going through a city twice. Once you have enough cards in your route to complete it, uh, a number of things happen. So in this case, I will play Ulm on one side and Mannheim on the other, which gives me a three route. Three cities is the smallest route you can complete. It's worth noting that you have to add a card to your route during your turn. If you can't, for whatever reason, so your city cards in your hand don't add to your route, then you must discard your route and start a new one. So always make sure you have a city card that you can add to either end of your route. You can't close it, you have to discard it. The way you complete a route is you say, this route is done, I'm going to close it. And you place branches in those cities. However, there is a restriction. You can either place cities, uh, branches in all of cities of one colour in your route, or a branch in each colour within your route. So in this case, I could place one in Mannheim and one in Stuttgart, or I could play in Stuttgart and okay. Closing the three city route allows me to pick up a carriage of three. Okay. You have to, the way you improve your carriages is by completing longer routes. You can't skip a carriage, you have to go through them ascending in ascending order. So the next time I complete a route, if it is four cities long, I can improve my carriage to this one. And that goes on top of my previous carriage to show it has been upgraded. At the end of the game, your carriages score you points based on the bottom left hand corner. They are not cumulative, they, you only score for your best carriage. Okay. Once you've completed a route, your cards get discarded. You can never have more than three city cards in your hand when you complete a route. Note there are bonuses for completing routes of various lengths. The first person to complete a five city route scores this bonus tile. There are also bonus tiles for six and seven city length routes. These are in descending order, so the first person to do it scores more points. During your turn, as I mentioned, you can also take the help of the other post uh, officials. The postal carrier allows you to play two city cards into your route instead of just one. The administrator allows you to change all six cards and get them replaced by new six city cards. You have to do that before you pick one, however. The cart right allows you to gain carriages 
based on the length of your route. For example, if I had a carriage from the four route and was looking to improve to the five route carriage, I could use the cart right to close a three city route and still gain the five carriage. Other things worth noting is there are bonus points for the first person to have a branch in all the cities of one colour. Um, and there's also a bonus tile for the first person to have a branch in every colour on the board. It's worth noting that some colours have a dark and a light section. In this case, they count as separate colours. Okay. There is also a bonus point for the person who ends the game. The game ends when either someone uh, improves their carriage up to seven, which is worth 10 reach points, or they place all their branches on, their bo on the board. Branches are negative points at the end of the game for any you haven't played, so make sure you get as many of them down. Once the end game conditions are met, you add up all of your points, and the person with the highest score wins. And that is how you play Thurman Taxes.